has been a, a very strange experience <laughs> and uh, very complicated. It's uh, been very demanding. I have, uh, of course, great pleasure in hearing so many admired and esteemed voices acknowledging my life's effort. But it has been uh, demanding in that I've had to sit still during the entire process. <laughs> and it also has been uh, slightly uh, painful because I know that such a, an experience is uh, granted only towards the end of one's <laughs> life's work. And there is no way I can adequately thank both the uh, admired uh, colleagues who have been so kind and yourselves for coming and for placing this experience at the end of a great week and in this great place. But I can only thank all of you sincerely and uh, will hope to convince the individuals when I have them cornered individually that I really mean what I say. But from here, I believe that my best th thanks, while I have all of them uh, captive as a unique and an extraordinary group that uh, risking saturation and I think also a certain amount of depression, <laughs> I'm going to read you three recent, very short poems, one still unpublished. And uh, in these poems, the growing uh, doubts and certainties of that lifetime are trying to live together. It's, uh, the two published poems are from that recent book, uh, Belief and Unbelief, and there are two prayers. The first, in a disordered and misguided community, it is the accomplished and the more fulfilled who are to be found to one side, unwilling to take part. Dear God, let the minds and hearts of the main body heal and fulfill, and we will watch for the first sign of redemption, a turning away from regard beyond proper merit, or reward beyond real need toward the essence and the source. And the second very short prayer that the humours settling hard in our heart may add to the current of understanding that the rough course of the way forward may keep us alert for the while remaining. The third and last poem, untitled as yet, and she said, there is an inadequacy and an imbalance in the source material. This is the basis of energy. And there is a dysrhythmia in some among you, the alert, the demanding and still unfulfilled, a restlessness and a concentration on the particular as the mind looks for any evidence of purpose. This gives no pleasure except in relief but welcome it if it is offered and use it to the full, trusting that there will be an easement in the uncertainty at a time to come. But resigned, she turned away, the phrase is tired, if there is not. Good night and thank you again. Very much.